Hello guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back on a, a Friday afternoon when we're recording this. It's very grey, very miserable out there, so we need some sunshine influence team. We've got Real Madrid's new kit, which has just been announced from Radidas uh, for the 2019-20 season. We're going to review that today, but don't forget if you are new to footy.com, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're reviewing all the major kit releases from across Europe and outside the continent sometimes. So basically, if you're a fan of kit culture and all that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. But today, it's the turn of Los Blancos, the Galacticos and all that lot, uh, and Real Madrid and Zidane's team for next mm. year. They've announced their kit. Um, Phil, what is your take on this brand new shirt from Real Madrid? So, I actually quite like this shirt, and I must say, um, I wasn't expecting much from Real Madrid. You know, they're a team which obviously over the years... You never can really, can they're, they're they're not very a safe, lot. their kits. They are very safe, but I think one thing, and this kit has made me uh, appreciate as I was looking back, doing a bit of research... You know, despite the similarity of the kits, they do quite frequently change that secondary colour, that accent colour, if you like. And that means that eventually, every few years, you're going to get some really good combinations. And the gold, which... It's a nice combination, I'll give it that. It is, yeah. I think the one thing about this is that um, it's not just a bit of gold. They've actually really, you know, incorporated it quite quite consistently across the whole kit and that does really look and good. it's inspired by the crown that sits above the crest for <laughs> over 100 years so essentially they've gone for the whole gold Real Madrid crown yep. thing and which makes sense it's a, it's a nice natural thing given the fact that it's in the crest and all that yeah. kind of stuff and the last Sunday wore gold which is uh, 2011 as it says there that is that was a very good year they won the league that year they set a few records I think goals scored and points actually they set records for us Ronaldo in his pomp ex- exactly yeah Pete, Pete Ronaldo at, uh, at Real and yeah I think the end result is really strong and there's a lot of little things which I didn't realise um, they were going to introduce things like and it sounds a small thing but the the fact the stripes go a bit further down yes. I like that a lot of kits in the last couple of years haven't had that <laughs> it's like I guess what do we do with our stripes I know yeah a bit longer this year it. Wait. <laughs> make them shorter indeed like, yeah eventually next year, yeah. Next year they'll be like there. I'm, I'm hoping they start increasing the size of them. So. It's, it's a philosophical. It's not philosophical. It's an opinion based question. <laughs> yeah, like, it's a Friday. Um, yeah, it's a Friday. What? Yeah. What, where, what? How can we get away from this? Like, and what, what would you want to see to do to get away from this? Well, this I think thing? the the answer. So someone who's not just to quickly finish. Yeah. Someone who's not quite as um, engrossed in the world of kids as you are. I'm getting there because of by proxy from absorbing all of Phil's knowledge. <laughs> uh, for someone who's not quite uh, yeah into that as you are. I, when you look at any desk kits, they always feel savvy because mm. of the certain touch points. Exactly like that. They're normally the sleeves and the collars and this kind of stuff. And it makes you feel like the kits are very similar. And Real Madrid, because of their simple colour palette, one of the teams that suffers in the mm. eyes of someone like myself the most. Yep. So what would you like to have seen do to get away from that? You're absolutely spot on. They are... I had an idea, though. What about matching three stripes down the middle? Well, That'd I was class. about to say, the use of the three stripes actually used to be a real positive. Nowadays, yeah. you're absolutely right. It does, unfortunately make the kits quite kind of standard quite vanilla but actually um and it sounds obvious but in the 90s and you go and look at the kits of the 94 world cup for example look at adidas's template then and they had a few different ones in the 90s which did some really creative things with stripes you know we talked about we talked this week about sweden's kit didn't yeah, we? yeah and that was a good example of the three stripes coming up in two kind Almost of like two Chevron's ways kind of way, they, yeah the way they come in i mean they're absolutely massive but I think there's there's definitely something to be said about returning to that more just that more free flamboyant use of branding. I think yeah. you know it's something which Adidas are in danger actually. I think of lagging behind if they don't I agree, yeah. return to that. And um, yeah, so hopefully, and to be honest, I think in the next couple of years they they may very much. I do, do think that. that middle would look really cool. Oh yeah, yeah that's a great like, great shirt. A bit almost like the AIK shirt, which is not you know this yes um, yeah yeah yeah. Put them there now, which is obviously an argument. Like a uh, no, it's a good just example. Very, to feel that would be really cool mm. and I think that would be really bold but obviously not many teams want that because it comes in the mm. earlier striped shirt doesn't it and I think the other thing actually quickly on the stripes I really like it when they occasionally do sort of like a different colour in the in the middle stripe and they've yeah. done it for one or two kits Belgium's away kit recently did that which is a which is the Condivo template, but it looked really good just having that mix up of stripes. So there's some good examples. Well, there. I'll drive us back to Real Madrid yes, now. Yeah, um, yeah. One thing I like, by the way, is I like the uh, kind of little gradient and colour effects on the Flyer and its logo. Mm-hmm. That looks really nice. That um, mm-hmm. I like how they essentially just you know, mix it in the shirt a little bit more. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's kind of a gradient effect, isn't it? Rather I think it, I think it's just it's the, just, the shiny. Um, oh yeah, no, it is material which gives it that effect. And Wait, it does, well, that will all, that will always happen because of every angle. It will, so and it, see flat, it does look really good. And I think. You know, I mean, it's yeah. a shame. It's a shame. The, oh yeah, it's um, different in every picture. So yeah, and it look it does look great. And the um, the Club World Cup 
winning badge doesn't look good. It's, it's just too it? big. It, and even on this kit, if it was ever going to look good on the kit, it would be this one. But it, unfortunately, Why it doesn't. have it on the sleeves or something. Yeah, there's a big I, gap right there. On well, the I sleeves. think I think um, because of Champions things like league, league patches, yeah, yeah. exactly they yeah. can't. But um, yeah, I, I mean that's just an unfortunate burden. <laughs> yeah, they have to bear <laughs> the pains um, of success. Eh? Indeed, I would just like to point out quickly as well the the actual text texture of the shirt looks good. Yeah, um, we we pointed out on the United home shirt that was actually a surprisingly good feature and actually to be fair to you that's what they lack in yeah it does look nice actually yeah just I, I would have you'd have to see it in person to give it a full look but on on inspection it's not just a standard uh, knit it looks like a, a slightly different material and that and that's always a good thing one thing that this does capture and I mean this to no offence at all of any Real Madrid fans it captures the almost like confident arrogance of Real Madrid club because mm. Real Madrid are very much a club that yep. is very proud of themselves absolutely. rightfully so they're absolutely. just absolute giants possibly the most high profile club in the world mm. uh, and it has it does have an elegance to it very much we're Real Madrid it's simple it's bold it's gold mm. you know it's it, it simple it's bold it's not bold actually it's simple it's bold and it's simple if that makes sense yeah. uh, and it, it does capture that slightly like we're better than you vibe and, the, and it, it does and it like. is quite funny coming off the back of year when the only thing they want was, <laughs> was the club world cup yeah. you know I mean obviously kit designs and we've, we've talked about it recently haven't we that they are often in well they do begin before the end of the previous season yeah, so yeah, they yeah. couldn't have known they would be coming well, off a pretty was, bad year I hypothesized they were winning every world they weren't they were um, winning loads of Champions League weren't absolutely they? And, but I do think that you're absolutely right there's a huge a huge mindset thing with many clubs but particularly Real Madrid um, you know I mean it's not the only reasons that I came back, but of course he's he's come back to try and essentially shake them out of their, yeah, their slumber, which they were but in. They are yeah. spending absolute loads. By the time you watch yeah. this, they're probably going to have Hazard, Jovic, Latao, yeah. who else? This, this sounds someone else I've forgotten. Probably um, Ferdinand Mendy as well. Yeah, but why just, not? just why buying not? the world. And that's just yeah. coming from a City fan. But you know, <laughs> but anyway, we've, we've waffled enough in this video. Very yep. Friday vibes as we're recording this, Indeed. as you can tell. Uh, but we got to the point now we're reviewing this kit. Yesterday we reviewed um, Liverpool's new away kit, which was uh, obviously another white one as well. We gave mm. that uh, 72, as you can see there, on our kit rankings down the side of us. Uh, and we've got loads of shirts there. Uh, Barcelona's, they're obviously. Uh, city rivals, not city rivals, country rivals. Um, uh, down at seventy six, there, which is a decent little score with their mm. checkerboard pattern. And then we've got loads like West Ham, Boston, AC Milan, Roma, Ajax, home, mm. all really nice kits. Yeah. Uh, where does this one fill, fit, Phil? Uh, I have to say this. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Like, okay. just get your number in your head. Okay, well, I think I, you're gonna give it. I, I've got a. I've hoping you're gonna give it an eighty one. Wow, I'm actually going to go 82. Oh, you're so very, close. very close. I'm yeah, no, that, is, that is good. Yeah, no, you're very close. No, I don't. I do really... you mind that? Because I thought you were going to put level with Liverpool because he's Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, you know this, and actually that that's quite a result for him to, to be. What's that? A full six points ahead of Barcelona. Yeah, I mean, and the, the shirt wars. Uh, yeah, they won the league. The shirt wars. What else do you need? And I, I do think it's deserved. I, you I know. heard a rumor they're going to have Phil Dell's kicking on the match <laughs> for next season. Could, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Gonna win they else, can outline their crest in gold or something yeah no, I, I do I do think this is um, you know it's, it's hard to compare and say oh this is the best Real Madrid kit for a few years uh, but I do think it is I mean I can't think of actually enjoying uh, a Real Madrid kit it, in a long time own, to be own, honest they're in their own kind of little league because, yeah. because you have to take into consideration the fact that they just stick to the they simple do. so you have they to do. review it based on the context of what Real Madrid are don't you mm -hmm. and they always want to be the simple elegant thing don't they, they don't do crazy designs no. don't they keep it simple and uh, no. it's, it's a nice shirt I agree I think it's, a kind of one, well. it's kind of one I think you, you wore yourself you'd be like this is really cool it's the way I like this one because it's quite a simple yep. and elegant and stuff yep. I think it is an elegant shirt so that's mm. our score let us know if you agree with us so <laughs> okay, next time. Uh, go check out some of the other reviews, including the Barcelona, which will be on the card straight after this, and also the rest of the players for the 2019 20th year reviews. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to 40.com because it means the world to us. Like this video, let us know in the comments what you make of it, and have a lovely weekend.